Hi, I'm going to show you how to uh, interface a VREP simulation with an Arduino Mega, in this case Arduino Mega 2560, uh, equipped with two digital sensors, two analog sensors. The first analog sensor is um, a compass. This compass is detecting the magnetic field around it and uh, providing the orientation is displayed. It's connected to the uh, Arduino board through I2C, um, uh, I2C interface. And the PSD sensor that is detecting, using infrared, uh, infrared light to detect uh, the, distance, uh, in f the distance of an object in front of it. So those, uh, and the PSD sensor is actually connected with um, analog port of the of the Arduino. I will show you the schematics later. So, um, firstly, the, 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 Arduino, the Arduino is actually getting the information, the orientation of the sensor and the distance in front of, the distance of an object in front of this sensor, gathering the information, putting them together, and sending them to the simulation around here, uh, the VRF simulation, through the serial port. So the simulation, uh, is uh, uh, having a script that is reading a serial port, extracting the information about the orientation of the of the compass and the distance in front of the PSD sensor of the object in front of the PSD sensor, and uh, actuating the position and orientation of this cube. So I'm going I'm going to demonstrate you that uh, right now. Pressing play. So see there is the cube is not doing anything. It's pretty stable. So if I put my hand in front of the PSD sensor and push, let me show you, you see that that it's actually pushing the, the cube, the simulated cube. With a little bit of inertia because I'm, for stability, to have a, a better stability, I'm doing a moving average on the distance that is detected by the sensor. And same goes with the, the orientation. So let me try to get that. If I'm changing the orientation of the sensor with a little inertia also, you can see that I'm changing the orientation of the cube. You can combine them together. Oh, it's difficult to combine them <laughs> at the same time because I, I have only one, one hand free. The other one is holding the camera. So that's it. I'm going to show you the, the, the code and uh, the code that is inside the Arduino and the code that is inside VRIP, the script to, to do the same thing. So now I'm going to explain you how the um, Arduino code is working, the code that is inside, running inside the Arduino is running. So basically this code is reading the, the, the compass, the heading of the compass, which is a HMC6352 compass with a I2C interface. Then it reads the PSD sensor uh, analog port, which is, which is uh, some, some, some value or, uh, in a relation that is providing a relation uh, with the distance of an object in front of the sensor. It's converting this value to put it into centimeter. This compass is actually providing a straight forward uh, an angle between 0 and 360 uh, degrees. Um, and the PSD sensor is providing a row value that you can convert into centimeters. Once you have those two values, it splits them both uh, on the serial port separated by a comma. So uh, at first we have some uh, initialization for the, for the compass, for some, uh, some address in initialization. Then in the setup uh, part, we have some more initialization and we open the serial port to be uh, written at uh, 9,600 baud in the main loop, we first uh, ask for the I2C uh, port where the, 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 the compass is connected to get the data. Uh, we have a little delay here. With those two data, we are, uh, we are getting those two data and uh, we will be provided with 
uh, with an output uh, in tens of degrees. So uh, after reading the data, you, we can do a bit shifting and divide it by 10. And this uh, heading int will be actually straight a value between 0 and, 300, uh, and, uh, and 360 degrees that we are spitting inside the serial port. After we spit this on the serial port, we, s we put a comma in order to separate the data and read the analog value uh, of the, the PSD sensor, which is connected on the analog port zero. This value is a raw data, which is uh, representing the distance, but it's not centimeter yet. So we use this, uh, this conversion table uh, that you can extract from, from the data, sh data sheet. And after that, sensor value is going to be uh, a distance in, in centimeters between uh, uh, with, with some noise. So um, uh, we know we know that from the data sheet that actually the value is uh, equivalent between seven or eight centimeters up to uh, maximum of one meter. So here we are like just doing a small um, uh, filter to remove the noise that could be uh, if the value is between zero and seven centimeters well, the value will be seven centimeters. And if the value is greater uh, than one meter or negative, sometimes it gives negative values if there is no obstacle. So uh, then we remove the, uh, we, we say that the value is 100 centimeters. And put that inside the serial port with a end, uh, end of line uh, character. Uh, and we do that again every 100 milliseconds. So. So this program is going to spit uh, the value of the heading of the compass in degrees, comma, the value in dist uh, the distance uh, of detected by the PSD sensor in centimeter, and then carry it return, end of line. So from the VREP side, if I open this script, you see that this is a threaded script. In this initialization, which we read that, that, what, that which will, will be done uh, in actually only one time. Uh, you have we define the port number, which is the port the port the serial port number, which is connecting the port that is uh, actually where on which is connected uh, the Arduino. So uh, you can see that on your uh, device manager that when you plug, it would become something uh, on Windows machine. So uh, on my in, in this case it's com twelve. You can change that and uh, the baud rate. For uh, to be able to read what is on the serial port is 9,600 baud. So we will open the serial port here with those values and get. So this is this object is cuboid. We'll get. Oh, I don't know what is wrong when I'm reading it. Where is it? I'm oh, sorry about that. Here we go. Sorry. So um, cuboid is the cube we want to, uh, to to move. So first we are getting his handle. And I again. Sorry about that. So first of all, we're getting the handle of the cube here, the cuboid. And uh, with this handle, we can extract his uh, initial position and his in our initial rotation. Then we have two functions that will be used. Uh, the this one would be used to um, make the moving average for the translation of the cube with uh, 15 iteration. And this one will be uh, for the moving average of the rotation value with only five iteration. This is to give some stability uh, uh, and, re and remove some of the noise that, uh, that are acquired during the acquisition of the of the, of the sensors. Well, if you increase these values, you will uh, increase the stability. It will not be so jerky, but it will have some kind of inertia effect that you, you have seen earlier. So you, you can play around with those two values in order to adjust them to, to, your, to, your, uh, to what you want. So, uh, so this part is done only once uh, when, we, uh, when we, we press the play button. Then it will continue in this uh, in this y and, and in this while loop and get stuck in in this until we press stop. So in this while loop, we are reading a line 
of a full uh, a full line of on the serial port, which is uh, perfectly what we want to do. To get a string, this string, if it exists, we will extract the two the two values that are separated with a comma using uh, this uh, gmatch uh, function. And uh, the two values will be stored into this val value, uh, which is a, which is a, st a string actually. But while val val one will be the heading in in degrees, and val two will be the distance from the PSD sensor. So here we have uh, this line just to verify that when we are extracting and converting the values, uh, the string representing the heading and the distance, they are actually a real number. And so it means that the extraction of the heading and the distance uh, just did not went wrong, did not uh, go wrong. And we apply on this val value one, the heading and value two, the value to, to the distance, we apply a small average, uh, moving average. So for the position, we are uh, applying, we are changing the position of H, which is, if you remember, here, the, the handle of the cuboid. So we are moving the, the, the cuboid, uh, translating, uh, changing the position of the cuboid uh, in relation to the inertial frame. And uh, we are moving with those coordinates, which are the same coordinate as the initial one for x and z. And we are uh, putting minus the moving average value divided by 100, because VREP is working in meter, and the value, the distance value we, we got is in centimeters. Uh, and uh, we are doing the, 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 the moving average of this val2, which is the heading, uh, which is the, sorry, the distance. So that will act on the position of the robot of the cube, and we will act also on the orientation, but on the z-axis. Don't forget of value the av the moving average of value one, which is the heading, multiplied by. Don't forget to convert the degrees into uh, into radian, and we will uh, we will act on the, we'll change the orientation of this uh, cube uh, using this this this, uh, this code this line of code. And then it will be reiterated until we press the stop button. Then once we press the stop button, we close the serial and that's it. <laughs>